So, keeping with the theme of uh, actually usable uh, consumer advice, I have here a rather interesting gadget, but a practical one nonetheless. Yes, indeed, this is a puppy trimming and shaving kit. Uh, now, the writing is in Romanian, meaning that this is probably a Chinese-made uh, gadget. Don't quote me on that. I'll try to find out if it is or not. But it's actually packed and uh, sold in Romania, which is, uh, well, it's, um, it's a good news for uh, pet owners. That means that this uh, trimming kit has uh has the support and the well the the backup the well this has the you know the support of the producer for the local market now uh it's an interesting uh, package because it's supposed to contain spare um spare uh, a bit of a lapse from my side uh, I was looking for the word blade <laughs> that's what happens when you film three to four clips in a row but anyway I digress so this shaving kit only cost me around uh, 25 euros shipping included now before you go on and say this is not a quality device uh, let me agree with you. The plastic doesn't have a quality filling feel, but it does work, uh, apparently. And let me just check the batteries. Hope I don't break my nails. Okay, so this is a big battery. Now, the good news is I have this as a spare. I have a large capacity, a couple of them, large capacity batteries from this model and dimension meaning I will not have any issues with the uh, with the power uh, outlet with the power output now the story behind this device is as follows I, my uh, father-in-law my in-laws have a house in the countryside and there lies a dog. Now, this dog is a wonderful uh, Bichon uh, Maltese. I don't know how to pronounce it very well in English. Uh, the problem with this puppy is he's remote from any trimming or uh, hair salon for dogs. Uh, but he's very car sick. So I cannot actually drive him uh drive the little fellow to get his uh grooming done now what what i am going to be attempting is to do it myself with this device now it's gotten uh generally a uh, positive reviews from users um from the online site that i bought it um I believe um, close to a couple of hundred people bought this thing and usually they give it uh, the the average is about 4.7 out of 5 stars which is not bad and considering it also comes with this spare uh, trim blade uh, which is supposedly coated in titanium though at this price point I would be a bit uh, skeptical about that um, aforementioned fact it is nicely put together and uh, assembled into this type of uh, um, well very well thought out and, and overly engineered type of uh, well assembly <laughs> basically so you can remove the blades themselves without uh, tearing down half of the device, which is always a plus. So I have managed to uh, fix and place these adjustable um, uh, fur lengths, uh, whatever they're called, these add-ons. Uh, the whole assembly is kind of flimsy and this plastic is very low quality, but anyway, for 25 euros, you can expect that much more. I'm kind of pleased with the purchase. 
Now I know usually uh, you shouldn't recommend uh, um, low quality, low tier gadgets, but honestly, if this thing holds for three to four trimmings, then I'm I will be uh, I will declare myself uh, pleased with the purchase. You also get this rather cheap feeling um, cleaning uh, brush, but anyway, that's the story. So what I intend to do is uh, trim my dog's hair manually up to a certain length, uh, give him a wash, a proper shampooing and rinsing, uh, dry him out, and then attempt to trim it, his fur. So as you can see, this um, device also has different lengths for the trim blades themselves, uh, from 0.8 millimeters up to 2.1. Uh, depending on how thick the fur is, you might need to adjust this uh, uh, blade setup so you don't catch too much fur at all at once and just clog the device. And also, there are there's a well, there's a rather interesting and uh, easy to use two-speed system here. You press once for the basic speed and twice for more power. Uh, and also the the sound level is not that disturbing so hopefully your pet will not be uh, scared uh, when this thing is in uh, operation so anyway that's the plan uh, wash the dog <laughs> uh, shorten the fur by scissors uh, then attempt to uh, trim the uh, remaining fur with this device. I will post some pictures uh, during the process or maybe just after it so you can see uh, whether this thing has worked or not. It's so I'm not planning to get too many views with this review. Uh, it's kind of a hit and miss since I don't have uh, the dog <laughs> near me and I cannot show you the end result and to draw up a conclusion on this gadget but I thought it's interesting and it's actually good user advice maybe someone out there is looking for this type of budget friendly uh, trimming tool for their pet and well this is how the Zupi uh, trimming tool looks like now, as you can plainly see, this Zupi uh, animal fur trimmer is kind of a hit and miss. It works okay with dog fur, even if it's a thick and bushy fur, but it doesn't really work with its attachable or detachable combs. So you cannot uh, trim the fur simply by choosing a pre-selected length. You need to remove the combs and just use your artistic side to try to come up with a, with an acceptable fur do for your uh, furry little friend which obviously I did not manage to do but I promise you my pet didn't suffer through the process and was very happy to be rid of his extra fur especially during the summer uh, would I recommend this device? Uh, well, yes and no. For 25 euros, you're not going to get anything cheaper. Then again, if you want good results, just take your pet to the trimming salon. I, for one, have explained the reasons why I didn't do that and I hope they are clear to everybody as long as you don't accuse me of uh, neglecting my pet. So thanks a bunch for watching and remember, I mostly buy, hoard and collect weird and quirky obsolete tech stuff, but not in this case as I attempt to give you a genuine consumer advice and a proper review. See you in the next one. Bye bye.